welcome back to the channel guys it is me 8744 so today guys we're doing our champions league predictions for match day one europa league predictions for match day one and conference league predictions so we're doing all the match day one predictions in one little video for you guys so you guys like and subscribe i want to see us reach 20 likes on this video guys hit that like button if you haven't already done so guys and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new out here guys as we're trying to reach to the last subscribers by the end of the year so let's start with the first let's start with the champions league first i know many of you guys are more interested in the champions league so we're going to go ahead and do that one first so let's go ahead and start with the champions league our first game we have here is young boys versus rb leipzig this is a very interesting game guys um you know there's a lot of pressure on um this is a huge game for young boys if young boys wants to qualify from this group they have to win this game you know and rb leipzig they're just looking great they're, they're looking amazing right now the one is like even though they lost a lot of big name players this summer they have been amazing. Javi Simmons has been cooking. And then obviously you have um, Sesco has also been really cooking as well. So I expect RB Leipzig to win. It's just a matter of what the score is going to be. And I'm going to say, I'm going to narrowly say RB Leipzig win because this is on the road. And I think Young Boys will give it a great, they'll put up a good fight. But ultimately I think RB Leipzig will just have enough quality to pull through. And I'm going to say they win this. I'll say 2-1. Um, 2-1 win. Then we have Milan versus Newcastle. Milan obviously got thrashed the Milan Derby very, very embarrassingly. And I expect Milan to put up a better performance. Newcastle, on the other hand, also haven't really been looking that great. It's a tricky one. I'm going to go with Milan to win this game just on the basis on their home form. Their home form is generally pretty good. And I think they'll narrowly win this. I'm going to say 1-0. I think it's going to be a 1-0 win for Milan. And then Shakhtar Donetsk versus Porto. Huge game for Shakhtar, man. This is a very, very pivotal game for Shakhtar Donetsk. They need to win this game, and I think if they don't win this game, they could. This is a huge. It's going to be very difficult for them to advance in the group. And for Porto, man, they got to start off on the right foot. So it's a tricky one because I could kind of see this being a draw or also a narrow win. So I'm gonna say Porto wins this. I'm gonna say they win this one nil. I think they're going to win this 1-0. I have a feeling they'll win this 1-0. It could be a lot closer, but I'm going to go to Porto to narrowly take advantage of this one. They have Barcelona versus Antwerp. As a Barca fan, we have to be winning this game. The question for me, though, is not necessarily where you're going to win. is how many we're going to score. And uh, respect to Royal Antwerp, though, they're going to put up a great, admirable fight. Um, they're defensively um, going to be very defensive in this game. And it's going to be – it's going to, the onus is going to be on Barca, you know, because let's be real, guys. It's gonna probably it's gonna either end nil nil or a big win for Barca. Like I have a feeling it's gonna be one of the two. I'm gonna say Barca is gonna win. I'm gonna say we're gonna win two nil. I'm gonna keep expectations low. I do think we should win, but I don't know how big we're gonna win this. And then next step is Man City versus all. Rest all Belgrade. Man City we should be smashing Rest all Belgrade. This should be very easy. I am gonna go with the four nil scoreline. Could even be more. I'm gonna say four nil. Four nil feels very very. Uh, I'm gonna be generous. Then we have PSG versus Dortmund. A very tricky one to call, guys. PSG have to perform in this game. They looked abysmal on their game against Nice. I was not convinced whatsoever. And Dortmund, on their hand, just about won against, I think, was it against Freiburg, I think? Ah, oh, man. Both teams defensively look shocking. Both teams look really bad defensively. I'm going to go at PSG, though, to win this game just on the fact this is at home. Because trust me, man, if it wasn't at home, I don't know if I would back PSG. But I'm going to back PSG. I'm going to say this is going to be a thriller. I'm going to say a thriller, guys. I think PSG will win 3-2. I think this game will be very high scoring. And I have a feeling PSG will narrowly win this one. They have Lazio versus Atletico Madrid. Another very interesting game for Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid, this is a very big one for Lazio. Lazio need to win this game if they want to qualify to round of 16. Do they get the job done here at home? Atletico Madrid, they looked bad, man. They got thrashed on the weekend against Valencia. So, Lazio, uh, I'm going to say I'm gonna say a draw. I'm going to say a draw. I was kind of tempted to put Atletico to win, but I've not been too convinced with Atletico recently. But I think they should still have enough quality to get a result here. But I'm, I wouldn't be surprised to see them, you know, lose the game or even um, Lazio uh, get a draw here. I think a draw... Will be a decent result for Lazio. Then we have next up is Final versus Celtic. Final should be winning this game. Celtic look, um, they're good obviously, but I just feel like they're gonna really struggle defensively. These guys aren't great, and I feel like the loss of Angie as a coach is gonna really hurt them. And I think Final will take advantage. I'm gonna say Final is gonna win two 0 I think two 0 is a fair score. Then we have Real Madrid versus Union Berlin, guys. Real Madrid versus Union Berlin. 
It's going to be a very interesting one, guys. I'm going to say Real Madrid just about get the job done. They've been in good form so far. Although they have struggled to kind of win games, though. You know, they did have to come from behind against Real Sociedad. They had to come, by, come from behind in two games consecutively to get the three points. So, Union Berlin, I think they'll put up a great fight. But I just think, for me, Union Berlin just don't have the attacking qualities compared to Real Madrid. You have the likes of Bellingham that's going to step up. Joe's Lewis going to step up. Valverde, you know, and co. And so that's why I think Real Madrid will just about win this. I'm going to say they're going to win this 2 now. I'm going to say they win this 2 now. Okay, the next up it is Galatasaray Copenhagen. Galatasaray, man, they have to win this game. It's a must win game. If they don't win this game, I think they can kiss their chances of qualifying this group out of the window because this is a huge game. They're at home as well for the game. They got to win this, man. Are they going to win this game, guys? I'm going to say they will. I'm going to say they win 3 0 against Copenhagen, guys. 3 0 against Copenhagen. Benfica versus RB Salzburg. Another big one for Benfica. Benfica needs to win this game, being the home team here. I'm going to say Benfica wins this. Salzburg will put up a good fight, though, but I think Benfica should have enough quality to win this game, and I think Benfica will. I'm going to say Benfica wins. I'm going to say 2 0. Then we have Real Sociedad versus Inter Milan. A very interesting one, guys. Real Sociedad put up a great, great fight against Inter. Uh, not sorry, Inter. Um, or against Real Madrid in the weekend. But I have Real Sociedad just to have enough qualities in the final third. And that's what ultimately is going to happen. And I have a feeling that I could see Inter coming from behind in this game and possibly winning it. I'm going to say maybe like 2-1. So I'm going to say a 2-1 win for Inter Milan on the road. That will be very massive. Then we have Braga versus Napoli, guys. Uh, Napoli, man, I've not been too convinced with them. They have been kind of poor recently. They just tied to Genoa, I believe, on the road. And they had to come from behind in the game as well to rescue a point. I could see this one being tricky for Napoli. I could see this one where Braga could take the lead and Napoli come from behind. I'm not sure if Napoli wins this, though. So, mm, I might. this might be a crazy call, guys, but I'm actually going to go with the draw. I'm going to go with the draw, guys. I'm going to go with the draw. I think they're going to um, pick up a draw here, guys. They have Arsenal, PSV, guys. Arsenal should be winning this game. I mean, with the quality of players they have, Arsenal should be winning this game. And, yeah, I think they're going to win this. Now, this could be close up because PSV will make it very competitive, I would imagine. But um, I think PSV will ultimately um, succumb to the pressure Arsenal will score. And I think Arsenal will do it. I'm going to say they're going to win this 2-1. Maybe 3-1, I might say. You know what? I'll say 3-1. I'll go 3-1, guys. It'll be a bit different. Sevilla versus Lons. A very, very important game for Sevilla. Sevilla needs to win this game, guys. <sighs> I I've not been convinced with um I have not been convinced with Sevilla. They finally did just win though against Las Palmas on the uh, just to, earlier today, guys. But um I just feel like for me with Sevilla, man, I've not been that convinced. RC Lons, on the other hand, uh it's it's tricky, tricky. But I'm gonna say Sevilla win this game because they're at home. But man, it's gonna be close. I'm gonna say they're gonna win this one. No, I think one no win is gonna happen. Then we have Bayern Munich versus Manchester United, guys. Oh, boy. I fear for United. I genuinely fear for United because this could be a humiliation, guys. This could possibly be a humiliation. Um, I think Bayern's going to win. But something tells me, guys. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I have a feeling this won't be as one-sided as people make it out to be. I feel like Bayern's going to win. But I don't know if it's going to be one-sided. I'm going to say Bayern's going to win this... I think Bayern's going to win this 2-1. Yeah, I have a feeling Bayern will win, but I don't think it'll be as I don't think it'll be as bad as people make it out to be. I don't think it will. But who knows? I could be very wrong in saying this, guys. So that's the Champions League for you guys. I spent around 8 minutes, 7 minutes discussing the Champions League. We're going to go ahead and move on to Europa League, guys. There'll be time description below. So we're going to go ahead and move on to Europa League. So we're at 9 minutes into the video. So we're going to go to Europa League right here. Okay. So let's start with the first game, which we have here is, guys, Korobek versus Mold, guys. Huge, huge game, guys. I've been really impressed with Mold. I think Mold's a very good team, and I think they're going to get a surprise. I think they're going to get a result here. So I'm going to say they're going to draw this game, 1-1. One, one. Then Leverkusen versus Hacken. Leverkusen should be winning. I'm going to say I'm going to say they win 2-0. I'm going to say they win 2-0. Then Sheriff Teresa Paul versus Roma. I mean, I mean, um, oh, what the heck did I just do there? Uh, Roma should definitely be winning with the quality players they have. I'm going to say Roma wins 3-1. Do, do I not have a league? I thought I do have a league. I guess no one's predicted. I, I guess no one's done the league thing. I'll, oh, yeah, by the way, I'll put the league descriptions if you guys want to join the leagues in the description below. So you guys can join that. So anyways, we have Sheriff Triple versus Roma. 
I'm going to go with Roma to win 2-0. And oh yeah, I forgot to play my booster. Let me play my booster for this one. Which Wednesday match I'm most confident with? I'm most confident with Galatasaray or Copenhagen. Um, I'm most confident with that one. They better not let me down. Servet versus Slavia Praha. I'm going to go with Slavia Praha to win this. I'm going to say they win this though narrowly close 2-1. Uh, Panathakai. Man, I'm going to keep watching his name. Panathakainos versus Villarreal. Villarreal should be winning this game. I'm going to say Villarreal wins. 3-1. Then, Rennes versus Maccabi Haifa. Rennes, and Rennes need to win this game, and I think they will. I'm going to say they win 2-0. LESK versus Liverpool. I think Liverpool should be winning. Uh, I'm going to say they win 3-0. Then, Union SG versus Toulouse. Toulouse. I'm going to say they win 2-0. Um, then, we have Stromgras versus Sporting. I'm going to say, this will be close, but I have a feeling Sporting will just about win this. I'm going to say a 1-0 win for Sporting. I think they'll just about get the win. Adelanta versus Rocco. I'm going to say Adelanta wins 2-0. Rangers versus Real Batiste. It's a huge game, guys. Huge, huge game. I'm going to say Real Batiste narrowly win this. I'm going to say Real Batiste narrowly win this. But I could see a draw and um, for Rangers, man. And the Sparta Pro versus the Arizona Limazo, guys. Sparta Pro needs to win this game, and I think they will. I'm going to say they win 2-0. Brighton versus AAK Athens. I'm going to say they win 3-1. Um, respect to the Greek champions, so AAK Athens, they're a decent team. I, I do think they'll put up a great fight, but ultimately they'll fall short. Then we have Ajax versus Marseille, guys. This is a very interesting one, guys. I, I'm i going to go with Marseille. Well, actually, yeah, I'm going to go with the draw, actually. I'm, uh, I don't know. This is a difficult one, guys. This is a huge, difficult one. I'm going to say a draw, though. I'll play it safe and go with the draw. But, man, I'm really tempted to put Marseille to win. But I just I just can't trust Marseille, man. I just don't trust Marseille on the road. I really don't. Then we have Olympiacos versus Freiburg. Olympiacos looking for revenge after what happened against Freiburg last season. Uh, do, is this gonna, do they get revenge? I do think Olympiacos have improved, though. And I do think they are much better than they were last season. So, I feel like Olympiacos will be better. But I still feel like Freiburg will get a result. So, I'm going to say a draw. I think a draw is a fair result. And the West Ham versus TSC, Baka, Topola. I feel really bad. I'm going to have to go with West Ham. West Ham will, should be winning this game. And I'm going to say they win this game. I'm going to say they win this game 3 1. Actually, I'm going to say 3 0. 3 0. All right, so which one do I play my booster for, guys? I'm going to play my booster on um, Roma Sheriff. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm going to play my booster for that one. Okay. So, uh, let's play now. Okay. So, now we have the Conference League, guys. We have the Conference League right here, guys. So, uh, where are we at? So, we're at uh, 13 minutes and 9 seconds. Okay. So, Conference League time. Okay. So, we have Lille versus Olympia Lubana. I'm going to go with Lille to win this game. I'm going to say they win this game 2-0. Baron Bache versus Norchland. Now, Norchland is decent. I do think they'll put up a great fight, but ultimately, I do think Baron Bache should be winning, so I'm going to go with Baron Bache to win 2-0. Then we have Ludogorets versus Spart Spartak Trinava. Um, this is a big one. Ludogorets needs to win this game as they're at home. Do they win this game, guys? I think they do. I think they will win this game. I think it'll be close, though. It won't be as... I don't think it'll be as... I think it'll be a lot closer than people expect. But I still think Ludogorets will win. So I'm going to say 1-0 win. Then HJK versus Pauk. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go with Pauk to win this, guys. I'm gonna, It's going to be heartbreaking for HJK. I have a feeling Pauk's going to score a late winner. Uh, Frankfurt versus Aberdeen. Frankfurt should be winning this comfortably. 3-0. Then Franz Russell versus Kukraki. Uh, it's a difficult one, guys. i am not really been that convinced with Franz Russell, but they should be winning this game. I'm going to say they win this, though. I think they're going to win this, uh, I'm going to say, I'll say 2-1. I'll say a 2-1 win for France Mars. Gank versus Fiorentina, guys. I feel really bad. I want to see Gank do well, but I think Fiorentina will get the job done. And I think they're going to win this. I think it's going to be it's going to be tough. And I think Fiorentina is going to win this 2-0 on the road. I'm um, sorry to say. Then Zerinsky versus AZ Alkmaar. I think AZ Alkmaar is going to win this. They just have so much quality. Although they did lose some players. Um, though this summer, the Kirkies, the left back, has moved to, I believe, Bournemouth. And so I think AZ Alkmaar will win this. 
I think it's a matter of how much they're going to win by. And I'm going to say they won 2 1. Then Legia Warsaw versus Aston Villa. I am going to go with Aston Villa to win. I'm going to say they win this 3 0. Um, 3 0 on the road. Lugano versus Bodo Glem. This could be a close game, though. I don't think this will be easy for Bodo Glem. I don't think Bodo Glem is that great on the road compared to at home, but I think Bodo Glem will still win this, though. So I'm going to go with them to nearly win this 2 1. And Club Rouge versus Besiktas, guys. I think Club Rouge will win this game. They're really good at home. And I think they'll just get the job done. I'm going to say they win 2-1 at home. Um, then we have Dynamo, Dynamo Zyger versus Astana. I'm going to go with Dynamo Zyger to win 3-0. Been pretty convinced with them. Victoria Pleasant versus Balkany. This is an interesting one. Victoria Pleasant. Um, I'm going to say they win this 2-1, though. Zora Linus versus Ghent. I'm going to go with Ghent to win this, guys. 2-1 on the road. And then Makiba Tel Aviv versus Breslovic. Hopefully, Bristol can do something, guys. I think Makiri Tel Aviv will win this with the quality players they have with Zahivi and Co. And yeah, I think they're going to win this. I'll say they win this 2 0. And the Slovian Bratislava versus KI Klaxvik. I'm going to go Slovian Bratislava to win um, 2 2 0. 2 0, guys. I was tempted to go with 2 1, but ultimately I went with 2 0 instead. So let's go ahead and decide which one I'm going to put my booster for. Which one I'm most confident with, guys. I am most confident with. Frankfurt. I think I'm most confident in guys. And Aston Villa. I think I'm most confident in Aston Villa guys. Actually, no, I'm most confident in Zyger because they're at home. So, yeah, I'm, I think they're gonna win, guys. So, like I said, guys, I'll be putting the links in the description below for you guys to join my leagues. Um, you know, for the Champions League, for the Europa League, for the Conference League. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. So if you made it this far, guys, please comment down below hashtag eighty army. I know you made it this far. This is around a seventeen minute video. So, hope you guys did enjoy this um, preview. I mean, yeah, I mean, th these predictions. And, yeah, like I said, guys, I'll be doing the live stream re uh, recap for you guys on Wednesday and Thursday, respectively, for you guys. So, stay tuned for that, guys. Remember, guys, to subscribe to the channel to be notified whenever I go live. And, of course, like this video as well if you did enjoy. Kind of your thoughts, comments below. And, yeah, also make sure, guys, to become a member of the channel, get X members of videos and member streams. And I recently just did a members video last weekend, guys, reacting to my AFCON qualifying predictions, guys. I did those a while back. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.